my friend, my friend, we're doing I'm On My Way. Now, I'm On My Way is very simple, very fun. If you are playing baritone ukulele as well and you have the other Thomas Ballinger book, get a duo partner. Play the uh, standard ukulele with the baritone. It sounds super phenomenal, awesome, possum, great. So check out this song. It's in 4-4, four, four, down, 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 down. But we are going to be adding some pizzazz by going 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and subdividing those into 8 notes. But before we get there, we're going to say this is in the key of F major. Ow! F major. We're going to go to a G minor. Now notice how the shape of F major goes up and keeps those two same feelings. That's gonna be reoccurring. G minor adds the G there. We're gonna play an A minor as our minor third. The characteristic flat in the key of F major is B flat. If you're not understanding how this works is here's an A major, here's an A major and a second fingering, here's an A sharp, or a B flat. Chords have two names. Here we go with the B flat again. F major, G minor, A minor, B flat major is the major fourth. If we slide that up, it gives us a C major. You might know this little gem. C major, D minor. All the notes in D minor are all the same notes that are inside of F major. So when we play an F major and a D minor, they share the same key signature. Our last chord is going to be a C7 or an E diminished. Because as I said, chords have two names on the U. Ow! That E diminished is going to lead us right back to the F major. Now, for this song, really all we're going to need is the major one, the root, the tonic, the major fourth, the B flat, which is going to be the subdominant, and then we need the dominant, the C, which is the B. So when we play these songs, we're going to have one, two, three notes as pickups. Why? We're in 4-4. Four, four. Three notes in a measure means we're missing a note. It's at the end of the song. So we're going to say one, I'm on my way. F, two, three, four. Rest, F, 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 C7. Rest, keep it going. Here's our F again. Two, three, four, one. And we're gonna go to a B flat major here. Bar these, throw that down. Three, four, rest. Da, 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 back to F, to the one. Here comes our C as a dominant. And then we're gonna go right back to the F. Two, three, four, one. And then that last beat is wrapping up full measures so we don't have incomplete measures. All right, here it is with the melody. Open two, open one, rest. Three, 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 one, open, rest. Open, open, three, three, rest. Three, 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 one, open, one, rest. One, open, three, three, switch fingering so we can go up to the five, rest, five, 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 three, one, rest, three, three, one, open, open, three, open, open, three, one, ha, ha, ha. so when we're adding that melody to the rhythm, uh, guess what happens? Go slow, have fun, do finger style. I'm on my way. And I won't turn back. I'm on my way. And I won't turn back. Add a D sharp there if you want to transition that major from an F7 right into the B flat. Sounds super great with the melody, anywho. If you're in the key of F, if you play an F to a four, and then back to a four, that is a very, very standard um, ending to most songs. If you know what the name of that, put, put it in the comment section. Let's see if we have some uh, people who did a little bit of music theory before. Anywho, I had a great time. I hope you did too. Bye!